Let's solve the system of equations. 4x plus 2y equals negative 5, and negative 12x minus 6y is equal to 15. Okay, I want to cancel out either the x's or the y's. Okay, I'm going to try to fo uh, focus on these x's here. Well, in order to cancel these out, I need to change this 4x to a positive 12x, okay, which is not too hard to do. I just multiply that top equation by 3. Okay, so multiply the top equation here by 3. 4x times 3 is 12x. Let me put this in blue. 12x. 2y times 3 is 6y. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. The bottom stays the same. Okay, let's combine these two. 12x minus 12x. Well, those are going to cancel out, which is what I wanted. 6y minus 6y. Uh-oh, that's going to cancel out as well. So everything cancels on the left side, so the left side is just 0. Negative 15 plus 15 also cancels out. I get 0 equals 0. Now be careful. Don't write this off as no solution, right? Because if this were 0 equals 19 or, you know, 1 equals 3 or some kind of nonsense like that, then it would be no solution. This is very different, right? 0 equals 0. That is true, right? So if you get 0 equals 0 or 1 equals 1, anything that's true... You wouldn't say that there's no solution. You would say there's an infinite number of solutions. In other words, if you think about this as a graph, you have a line, the first one, and then when you graph the second line, it's right on top of the first line. So they cross everywhere. There's an infinite number of intersections because they are one on top of each other. Okay, so you have an infinite number of solutions.